What's up guys? I'm Laura from Reading in Bed and uh, I'm coming to you from an industrial park in St. Albert. We are a little bit early for Henry's ukulele lessons, so we thought we would do our video. I was going to do it while he was in lessons, but this works. Oh my gosh, and it's super windy. I don't know if you can hear that. So, um, we're going to review story number 16 and we're going to reveal story number 17. Now, number 16 was called Tremendous Machine. And I forgot to look up the author's, uh, how to pronounce his name. It's Salvatore Saibona. That's my Salvatore attempt. Salvatore Saibona. Saibona. Yeah. And um, so this was a longer story, and it was the second story about a piano, as uh, the editor of the collection pointed out. Now, okay, so the first one with a piano was Sue Terrain, which was still, uh, it's my favorite so far. And that was a longer one, too. This one, I... I don't know. I think I need it more time to get used to the author's style because it was quite impenetrable <laughs> in some ways. Um, it was confusing, like the, just the way he worded things. Although I, I liked it. By the end, I, I liked the style, but I need it more, more time to get into it. The sh for me, the short story didn't quite cut it. Um, whereas with Sue Terrain, it was also written in a very kind of strange style and... Mommy, this balloon is broken. That balloon is broken. Do you want to see how? Sure. I think you just have to blow harder, hun. <laughs> I'm blowing um, as hard as I can. Okay. Well, anyways, this was an interesting story, and I like things about it, but I think it was almost too short, even though it was one of the longer ones. I would like to see this at, uh, you know, like novella length or something. So, anyways, that's number 16. Let's take a look at... Oh, and the seal has busted on number 17, and actually I got spoiled. I do know what this story is. So, um, this is Last Woman by Carly Baker. I feel like the car's gonna blow away. Uh, so she's an author that I follow on Twitter but I haven't read anything by and that could probably be said of a lot like probably too many authors um, to name but she is a Cree Métis Icelandic writer um, who lives as a guest on the traditional ancestral unceded territories of the Musqueam Squamish and I'm not gonna get the pronunciation right on that so I'll just stop there. Yes. The wind is so hard, the car is shaking. The car is shaking, so we better hurry up. So she has a story collection out right now called Bad Endings. Um, I don't think the story is from it, but it is from this year. So Henry, should I read the very first sentences? Okay. And then we'll go in, because we're kind of blowing away here. Okay. Because the car is shaking. I've been playing a video game, post-apocalyptic, post-geomagnetic disaster in fact, which sounds like something that would melt people. The woman in the video game is the last person on earth and has to stay alive. And let me tell you, she didn't win the word redacted lottery on that front. She's in the far north, Yukon, I think. Miles and miles of forest, snow, wolves, bears. She has limited supplies, but at least there's no one to fight over them. Silver lining. Also, there's a deep, deep silence, which seems nice. A story about a video game, Henry. What do you think? could be good. It's a shorter one. So I will read this while Henry is in his lesson and uh, then I'll be back with you guys early tomorrow morning from home and I'll let you know what I thought. Thanks for watching. Henry, any outro? No. Okay. Bye.